I know, I know, it's been quite a few months with not posting even a single video. You probably been waiting for it. I believe nobody was waiting for it. Anyways, yeah, here I am back today with a little bit different content, but uh, just to mention, past few months were a fucking huge roller coaster and to be honest, a lot of things changed. I will show many videos later on, but just a little spoiler, I'm living in Vietnam right now. Can you imagine then? But anyways, let's go to the video point. So what this video is about, if it's not about traveling? Well, we all know that the color grading in Premiere Pro is shit. And I am not even a colorist, neither I work in DaVinci because I still work in Premiere Pro. Yes, I pay monthly all the time. I'm noob, whatever. I literally hate Lumetric Color Panel in a Premiere Pro because it just brings me a huge headache. And I know a lot of people saying hey, switch to DaVinci and stuff like that, but I'm used to Premiere Pro and I don't want to switch to DaVinci at the moment. Anyways, I was trying to find something that will bring me like those cinematic looks without tweaking for hours in Premiere Pro. And I found about the answer. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but I did reach out the answer and they gave me this software for a month for free to try it out and if I will leave review which this video is about I will get a lifetime access. The review should post to be honest so I can say bad or good things either I like it or not so that's what I will be the next one yeah. Vietnamese people watching me. Here we go. So guys, we all know about these cinematic overlays, grain, halations and stuff like that. By the way, this is right now filmed with the mist filter, which brings a little bit of smoothness. Let's say if I take it off, I'm not sure if you will see the difference here, but let's say. So I did reach out to the answer and they gave me this software for one month for free. And if I will leave my honest review about the software, they might give me a lifetime access. That's what I'm doing this and also sharing my knowledge about the answer to you guys. So what is the answer? The answer is a film emulation software, a plugin for Premiere Pro, DaVinci, Final Cut and many, many other more. They even have a iPhone app, which is a separate subscription, so we're not going to talk about it. So since the best way is actually opening a Premiere Pro and showing you exactly what I can do and with exactly what you can reach with the answer, we will do something like that. I will do a couple of shots up here with my S-Log because I'm shooting on Sony a7 IV. Also, I will do a couple of moments with my phone and maybe a couple of drone shots and then we will edit them in the answer and I will just tell you what I actually use from this plugin because the answer is quite a big plugin and there is a lot of things you can do with it but I'm lazy and I don't want to be a colorist I don't want to spend fucking hours coloring things I want it to be simple and looking nice and good welcome to my crib guys don't mind the environment I am in a hotel room just like there's almost no light I'm using my RGB LED which is this one that's it anyway so let's jump to premiere as you can see guys i added four videos from today's little drive uh, two videos from the camera one from the drone one with the iphone and i added one more from japan which is shot in the evening with some light source which i believe is better for the answer to be honest how to apply the effect basically what i can suggest is just to apply adjustment layer on top of the videos and then after that you just go to the effects panel in your Premiere Pro, find Film Emulation and choose the answer. From the out of the blue you will see pretty ugly picture. Why is that? I will go quickly through a couple of points because wherever if you will decide to get the answer for yourself then there is a lot of tweaks. You will just go through it and uh, enjoy yourself. It's all about the game of colors. You will just play with it. Anyways, let's show how to get rid of this. Basically, you go to Input and it's automatically shows source as Rex 709 but we shot in D-Log and we also shot in S-Log 3 with my camera so that's why we just gotta choose the camera choose the camera first one Sony a7 IV S-Log 3 let's go bumps straight away the colors are much better and then we can just split it up and choose let's say some eh, it's actually 
pretty alright for the drones though, but let's say for the purpose of this video we can find a drone iPhone Apple Lock sounds about right. Some effects already applied, but we gotta change a couple of points. Obviously you can change exposure, you can change tint, you can change um, some temperature. It's all you can do in Lumetri or you can do in the Enhancer itself, which is quite easy and everything works pretty smooth, so it's fine. Then when we go to film, you can see that the effect is enabled. So every single step, wherever you go, film developer, pin, uh, film, film compression, expand, print, color head, or wherever, you will see that little box with enable. If there is a tick inside, it means that it is enabled. But, so as you can see, film is enabled and it shows Kodak Vision 250D. You can put, you can tweak it a little bit, but we probably want to just change it. Let's say we want to change to Kodak Vision, maybe not Vision, maybe Kodak Portra 400 or let's say I like the colors of hard to choose. This one is pretty fun, but one thing I don't really like, as I said, I'm a lazy colorist i'm not a colorist so and i don't want to spend much time in the enhancer either so what you can do is you can find a favorite film profile and a favorite tweak that you did to the video then in the end you can save it as a lot i will show you how to do it later on do a bit of a contrast a bit of the gamma and stuff like that Film compression, same thing, if you enable it, then you can work with it a bit more. Fun part is where the halation, film grain and bloom starts. So we go to halation. Let's say we enable this effect and you can see that it gets a little bit more orangey, but we want to see what it actually applies to. So that's why we will add mask mode. And here you can see it turned into the black screen. So what it does, wherever you choose, let's say we choose some option, which will be nothing noticeable. So then we can go to custom and we go to local diffusion. You can see orange part goes around the cap and you can see it in the video right now. Same if we go up here. You can put mask mode and you see that it went around the cow. We will play a little bit more later on. So let's say we keep it this way. It's already quite a bit of a difference, you know. Then we can switch on bloom. Same thing. Mask on and enable. Again, we don't see much of a difference. Now we see. Bam, mask off. So the difference with the bloom, bumps, bumps gets this softness sort of creamy dreamy softness quite steady shot you know so that's where gate view comes pretty cool thing promise you look so when we enable gate view zooms up the bit because it takes the space and then like all the computing stuff comes up but now it's shaky it's shaky guys and you don't need to work with the keyframes it's as easy as that you just press enable you choose the profile or you can even customize it and that's it and it will be a shaky like handheld camera viewpoint which is cool let's say for the drone shot you want to put some overscans well the answer has overscans that's also a good point enabled bumps overscan which one we like we like this one or we will like this one yeah Maybe cool. No, maybe not so cool. Let's keep it this way. Okay, exposure. We can expose those ones. Up. Good. Scale. We can scale it like this. Pretty fine with that. Bums. Everything done. So instead of and like it's it's all adjustable, you know. So iPhone shot like this one shot on an iPhone. Like what we can do with it. Who? I don't even know. Film brief. Okay. Overscan, no need. My monitor, monitor will show you, like, there's a clipping indications and 
post call eh? and stuff like that. So like you can you can go deep. You can go deep with the answer. But one more thing. Like let's say we want to save this loop. You know? Okay, we go to LUT generator. We will export this lot. Bums. Try one. Try two. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Now we will just copy this video. That's out of the blue. Bounce. We just gotta go to color. And I want to add this lot to the video. Let's see. Is it actually the same? Bums. Pretty much the same. So you just made yourself a lot, which you can use. You can even sell those lots. Probably. I don't know. If you want something more like halation and bloom, which is actually what I like the most about the answer, you gotta have the plugin, you know. So that's the thing. But to be honest, like I personally think that the answer best works with night shots and shots with the light in the dark. Apply the answer, same thing over. Input is not rec 709. We'll apply a bit more. Bumps, we like it. We do some bloom. We apply bloom. Bumps, done. That's the shot before. That's the shot after. Look at these guys. In the end of the day, it's film emulation. And I love how that halation and bloom works together with the lights in the evening. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you can tweak, you can play. There is a lot of room to play for every single person. I will probably use my LUTs and then I will apply some of the effects from the answer like halation and bloom into my videos and I'll be happy with that. And sometimes I will play with the film looks where I want to make it super vintage. Let's go back to the nature and let's go to the conclusion of this video. So the main question probably will be is it actually worth the price and how much is it? Well, the price for all souls, like all the halations, blooms, all the tweaks is 450 US crispy dollars. 404 with the promo code. Yes, this promo code will give you a little discount. You can just get halation separately. You can get bloom separately. You can get some other things separately. And now the main question, is it actually worth it? The answer probably stays somewhere within you. Like, if you do a lot of shooting and you do like film grain and actual film emulations, plus you love halation and bloom, then yeah, why not? Just get it. It will simplify your life and it will simplify the process of editing. Let's say I do love halation, I do love the bloom, and that mist filter which I use from time to time, it's not enough. So, and with a couple of clicks, you can do such cool thing. Plus, I will pretty much use the enhancer instead of overlays for the grain and for the film loop. I don't know, like guys, it's 400 bucks, it's still a lot, so like, you, you gotta think like that. Like, if you have money to spend on it, or if this kind of thing, like filmmaking, brings you salary, brings you money, brings you cash, then it's worth investing, it will ease up your life. But if you just want to do it for the hobby, you might find some other ways. That's it. By the way, I almost forgot to mention. You see my helmet is on? The Hanser started a little competition right now. They asked me to mention that, so I do mention and because it might raise your creativity. So the Hanser started a little competition. You basically use the plugin and submit some short films. There's many different categories and stuff like that. So I'll drop the link also with some information. If you want to try yourself out, try your creativity, go for it. For me, it's time to go. Like. We're doing business in Vietnam, but about that, I'll go a little bit later. For now, I see you the next one. Bye.